Coach McKellen. Let the coach do a brief opening statement, and we'll take your questions. Uh, we certainly had our chances against a good team. Good Providence credit uh, for pulling this one out. I think uh, you know it's obviously disappointing uh, because we gave ourselves a chance on the road, but uh, couldn't make enough plays to, to get it done. You contained Chris Dunn pretty well for most of the game. He had three points for 30-some minutes, uh, and clearly he came up big down the stretch. Your thoughts on what he did the last few minutes on his play in general? Well, he's a terrific player, obviously, and, um, you know, bottling him up is a challenge. Uh, he was in a little bit of foul trouble. That might have helped us, but I thought our guys did a good job of being in the gaps and keeping him out of transition uh, opportunities. You know, the biggest shot he hit all night was the back three. Uh, you think he called that? Uh, it's the second time he's done it on us, so he's, he's made it an art. Hey, um, you couldn't call timeout. You were down by three. Ben Fisher couldn't. Did, did you want one of the players to or did you want to go ahead and just play free? You know, I think we really wanted to see. We, we've obviously practiced that. Um, I know everybody who's watched college basketball, a, a game in their life, thinks they know when to call timeouts. Um, but we really wanted a, um, a broken floor opportunity, um, you know, and not to, not to play against their set defense. Uh, we felt like our, our guys should be uh, mature enough to make the right decision. So, um, you know, it is, it is different not having the opportunity. Last year, would I probably call a timeout? That I don't know, uh, but it certainly would have been it would have been easier to call a timeout in that situation. They, they called the timeout at like 12.40, and then it, they came out with, it just seemed like cranked up intensity on defense. Did you notice that there the defensive effort they got from that point? You guys won about five and a half minutes without scoring. Not necessarily. You know, it, 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 that might have been the case. I'd have to look at it. I, I didn't necessarily recognize them playing harder defensively. I just think we went into a, a little bit of a lull against their zone, um, and... I think probably miss, missed a few easy ones, but uh, <coughs> you know I didn't I didn't necessarily notice a difference. Well, we, we anticipated that they would play it. Maybe not this much, but we anticipated that they would play it. <coughs> um, you know, we haven't seen it a ton. Although I think you know, listen, when one of your best players is Roosevelt Jones, I, I understand why. Some people would play it, uh, but obviously the, the threat of, of Kellen uh, is uh, is out there when he plays zone. And what, what really hurt us tonight is our our second best player against zone, maybe our best player against zone, was in foul trouble uh, in Andrew Travis. So uh, that that did hurt us at times. Kellen, what um, how would you like measure the Bulldog state of mind now? I mean, you played you probably. One of your two of your better games against Villanova and against Providence and end up losing. Yeah, we just, just going into the league, we understand how, how great all these teams are. Uh, I think that we definitely can improve, you know, giving up as many offensive rebounds as we did, as well as uh, just making the right play down the stretch. I think that we can definitely improve on that. I don't think that we've hit our ceiling by any means, if that's what you mean. John, talk about the last crazy play. Obviously, you had one final look at yeah, um, you know, it's a credit to my teammates to keep the ball alive. Um, I had an opportunity to make a shot, and that's just something I have to do as a senior. Chris, did you think there was any turning point? I mean, both teams kind of had mini runs and went back and forth a little bit. No, no, I think I don't. I, I, again, I, I think the bank team three gave them a little bit of cushion there. Um, I think maybe might have put that put that at five. So that if there was a turning point, that was a turning point. But you know, I think for us to win on the road, for us to um, you know to beat a quality team on the road, for us to win on Saturday, we're going to need more uh, quality play out of more players. Um, and I think that's we're going to need a little bit more balance uh, than what we have right now. Um, so that's what we'll we'll. Uh, We'll work to do that, and we'll, we'll fight to uh, fix those correctable things, like Kellen said, the offensive rebounding and the turnovers. Plan to uh, start gathers over Lewis going forward, or will that be kind of a game to game thing? Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll evaluate the tape and, and, uh, 
and see. Um, you know, I haven't, certainly haven't made any decisions on Saturday yet, but. Anything else? All right, thanks guys.